So here's here's the info we have. We got this this uh, hypodermic syringe. Uh, the medicine inside ha it has the density of water. Hey, that's something that's something you should have memorized. If you didn't, I'd give it to you on the quiz. Uh, density of water, a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, so this force gets applied to this plunger. We're told that the force is two newtons. We're given the, the area of region one, which is 2.5 times 10 to the negative five meter squared. Let's see, what else are we given? Uh, it says here, in the absence of a force on the plunger, the pressure everywhere is one atmosphere. Okay, so when, the, when this force is not being applied, the pressure in the fat part and the skinny part is one atmosphere without this force, with no force there. Um, are we going to leave this in atmospheres? Uh-uh. Atmospheres is not metric. So the conversion atmospheres into pascals, that's 101,300 pascals. Okay, we know what P2 is going to be. So region 2 right here is the skinny part. Even when this force gets applied, P2 is going to be the pressure of the atmosphere. How do we know that? Because the skinny part, region 2, is open to the atmosphere. So let's just put this down. P2 equals 1 atmosphere, which is 101,300 pascals. Okay, so what is P1 going to be when the force gets applied? Okay, when this force comes along and pushes on the plunger, what will P1 be? Well, look, what was, what was P1 before the force got applied? It was 101,300 pascals. This was, the, this was the pressure in the fat part of the syringe uh, before the force came along. So when the force comes along, what's it going to do to this pressure? It's going to make the pressure go up. So it's going to be plus. So how, what's the definition for pressure? Pressure is defined as what? Force over area. The force is 2 newtons. The area is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 5 meters squared. So this comes out as 80,000 pascals. Newton over meter squared is Pascal. So we're going to go, so P1, when this force gets applied on the plunger, it's going to be the pressure of the atmosphere plus the 80,000. Okay? So P1 is going to be 181,300 Pascals. Okay? And I think we have all the info we need. So the question is this. Determine the medicine's flow speed through the needle. So what we're looking for is V2. We're going to make some room. So this is a Bernoulli problem. So Bernoulli's equation is P1 plus 1 half dV1 squared plus dGH1 equals P2 plus 1 half dV2 squared plus dGH2. All right, is there any sort of vertical climb in this problem? Is the, is the syringe doing something like this? Is it going like up a hill like that? Is the pipe climbing some vertical height? Nope. So what can we do to both DGHs? Just cross these out. There, there is no DGH here, right? Because the whole problem takes place on the zero point, right? There's no, so, there's no vertical climb. All right, what else can we set to zero? Now, a common thing with Bernoulli problems is look, the, the, the velocity of the fluid in the fat part, we'll call that V1, this is region one. How does V1 compare to, v, to V2? Velocity one is what? Way smaller, right? It's way smaller. If you look at the Bernoulli equation, the velocities are squared. <clears throat> so what happens to two numbers that are drastically different if you square them? It becomes double drastically different. So what can we do to V1? V1 is so small, we can set it equal to zero. Just cross V1 to zero. 
All right, so what we're left with now, if you rearrange this algebraically, we have 1 half dv2 squared equals p1 minus p2. So v2 is going to be the square root of 2 p1 minus p2 over d. So that works out to be 2 times 80,000, right? The difference between, so we go p, so p, here's p1, p1 minus p2 is 80,000, and then what's the density of water? 1,000. And then this comes out as 12.6 meter per second. Okay.